This is Twit. Adam in the Bronx. Hello, Adam. Hi, Leo. How are you doing today? I am well. How are you? I'm pretty good. Um, I had a quick question regarding something I think that's actually that a lot of people do. So over the years, I've generated a lot of passwords for all the different, you know, websites or even checking accounts I use and stuff. And I found it easy to just put them in my my notes account on my iPhone, which I know is really unsecure because if someone takes my iPhone... You well, not only that, but your, your notes uploads to the iCloud, right? Right, right. And I know... Most Unencrypted. I know, most people I know do this. And most people I know just put all their passwords... Oh, oh yeah. My mom, my mom uh, when she came out last year had a, a text file on her desktop called passwords.txt. <laughs> and I said, Mom, we're going to... And I so I moved her to LastPass. So, uh, you know, the truth is, believe it or not, putting your... You did the most important thing, which was having different passwords for every account. And, mm -hmm. of course, if you do that, you're not going to remember them all. The right. reason people come up with one password and use it everywhere is because they can remember one. And, and obviously, it's better to use a different password on every account because if somebody breaks into one account, hackers know this. Everybody uses the same password many, many times. They just go around and try it everywhere. So well, you're, you're already a step ahead of the game just because you have a different password. And what is the chance that a hacker is going to first look in your iOS notes? So you're probably okay. But, you know, let's take the next step and, and make it a little bit more secure. What do you say? No, that, what I was thinking of, is there any other maybe a more secure maybe application or a website where I can put all those passwords so that, it, you know, I'll have a really good password for that site, then I can just open that up and look at it. Because that, that would seem a little more secure than... <laughs> you, have you been listening to this show lately? This is exactly what I recommend. It's called, that kind of application is called a password vault. Yes. And if you think about it, this, I'm looking for. yeah, you invented something that makes perfect sense somewhere like your notes, like your iOS notes pad or Evernote, but it's, it's, it's encrypted. It's, it's protected. And you remember one password, the password to that, and then it opens it up and there's all your other passwords. And the one I recommend is available on iOS, on Android, on Windows phone, on Windows 8, on uh, Macintosh, on Linux, everywhere you use it. It's called, it's all called LastPass. And get the name. It's the last password you'll ever have to remember because you remember that one. But there are many that will do this. You could even do it yourself by hand. Evernote, for instance, will let you... Evernote's a free notebook program and it will let you encrypt any given note... So you could have one giant note in Evernote that has all your passwords, encrypt that, and that would be a big step forward. But I like the idea of a password manager because it has other features that make it easier. For instance, and, and there are many passwords. There's one pass or one password, uh, RoboForm, Dashlane, KeyPass. There's dozens of these. I like LastPass again, but all of them are roughly the same in this sense. They will generate secure passwords for you. Really good, random, long passwords you would never remember, and then they automatically store them. Uh, many of them will work on multiple platforms. So, for instance, if I create a password when I'm logging into a website on my desktop, that password is saved automatically by LastPass, and then appears anywhere I use LastPass. So the next time I go to that website on my phone, I already have the password. And on uh, Android, LastPass will automatically fill in the password for you, which is really nice. That will probably be a feature also in the next version of iOS. iOS 8 is going to have that capability, and I expect most password manager developers will take advantage of that. Auto-filling in the password is what it does on the desktop, but that's really nice, and to have that on the phone is really great. So it's easy. It's LastPass. Highly recommend it. It is the single most important thing you could do to protect yourself. The second one, the second most important thing you should be doing is turn on two-factor authentication on every site that supports it. And there's a great website, which I probably should put in our show notes, that lists all the two-factor uh, services that support two-factor. So you can go there. It's twofactorauth.org. A-U-T-H. And what's nice about this is it shows every web service and website that supports it. And then if a site doesn't support it, there's a button you can click that, that will tweet them saying, would you please support second factor authentication? 
So this is really nice. Dropbox, Evernote, Google Drive, iCloud, OneDrive. Those are the big ones. They all support two-factor authentication. So get LastPass. And by the way, LastPass also has two-factor authentication. Get LastPass and 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 turn on uh, two-factor authentication wherever you can. Most banks support it. In fact, it's surprising, really, the banks that don't support it. This is something every bank should just do. It should be automatic. Citibank doesn't support it. They should support it. That's crazy they don't. Every Every financial institution should support it. Second factor authentication. It means you give them a password plus a code that's texted to you. And that it just makes it so much more secure.